Hi guys and welcome back to our new YouTube video. So last week we went over how you can edit charts in WP Data Tables plugin and this week uh, Alexander is going to show you how you can edit your tables in WP Data Tables uh, plugin. So let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, all right. So we already have a manual table created. It has some a list of uh, some countries and the population. I don't know from which year, but anyway, it's only for testing purposes. So basically, to be able to edit the table um, in the back end, you need to be logged in as admin, since only administrators can configure uh, the tables. Here, you can edit the data by clicking on the edit button, where you can choose uh, alter the data in the table. For example, we would change this uh, total population number, hit OK, and that automatically changes this um, cell. Under editing, you can see that front end editing is currently disabled, which means that on the front end, you won't be able to edit this table. But in order to change the uh, editing in the back end as well, you can choose edit buttons in a popover, which upon saving, you'll notice edit and new are removed from here. But when you click on a row, you can either edit, delete, or add a new entry. So basically, if you want to add a new entry, say Europe, country Serbia, population approximately, and okay. Another option is inline editing, which allows you to double click on a row and edit it. So if we click once, you get the popover, which is also enabled. But if you double click, you can actually edit the table, the cell straight within the uh, row. Also, what's uh, important here is that uh, you need to have the ID column for editing, which is automatically hidden for manual tables. You can display it just to see the uh, IDs of rows. Uh, those are auto increment unique values which are added one by one. So for example, uh, if we were to delete this entry, you can see the ID is 20. When you delete the entry and add a new entry, you will actually see that, for example, Croatia, then ID will automatically go to 21, even though 20 is now allegedly free. But since it's auto incremented, it goes to 21. And basically, uh, this explains how you can edit the tables in the back end. For the front end, there are more options like um, setting, configuring roles that you have in WordPress, which will be able to edit the table on the front end. Uh, or limiting uh, the editing of only their own data, which can be used only if you add an integer column, which will be, for example, user ID, integer, uh, the beginning of the table, and save. So in order to display data and edit data only for currently logged in users, when this is enabled, this column has to be selected as the user ID column. So basically when you do this, since all these rows are empty, add one since that's my user ID. And now when I save these changes, I will only see one row in the back end, which would be same in the front end because my user ID is currently only in this column, but also in the back end, you can click on show all rows for this table in admin area. So that allows administrators to see all entries in this table in the back end. Okay, that's great. And that's possible only for tables that were created manually and imported from a certain data source or? Uh, yes, for manual tables, imported tables, since uh, external sources like Excel, CSV, when they are imported, basically a new manual table is created, which gets this WDT ID column and you can also um, edit my SQL so database tables if 
they have this uh, auto increment unique integer column. So if they have a, an integer column in the database, you select that column here and you will be able to edit that table. But if it's a simple query, if it contains joins, unions and stuff like that, you probably won't be able to edit the table. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this was useful for you. And if you have any questions, you can leave them below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, uh, comment, share and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye, guys. Take care.